Good evening, and welcome to the very last Lucky Stars. Now, I'm standing in the spot where over 2,600 sets have been stored for the 3,000 or so artists that we've had on the show. The policy of Thank You Lucky Stars has been to present not only the very big established names, but the up-and-coming talent which could benefit greatly by appearing in a show with such a wide audience. And we've had many, many names on the show. The Beatles, for instance, jumped from almost complete obscurity to become international artists. And they're not the only one. We had Freddie and the Dreamers, uh, Scylla Black, Helen Shapiro, Jerry and the Pacemakers. Well, Thank You Lucky Stars started in April of 1961. And starring in that very first show was Anne Shelton and the Dallas Boys. And later on that year, we had many other artists, including there was Ken Dodd, John Layton, uh, Cliff Richard, Mark Winter, and the Shadows. Earlier on in Thank You Lucky Stars, the only groups who were achieving any sort of recognition with the audiences were the Dallas Boys and the Shadows. But uh, later on that year, there was the Mersey Sound, and sure enough, that was led by the Beatles. And uh, they appeared on the show in January 1963, and later on in that year, we had uh, a lot more of the Mersey Sound groups, also the Dave Clark Five and the Rolling Stones. And it was in 1963 that... Uh, well, Thank You Lucky Stars was selected as the independent television entry in the Grand Festival at Montreux. And 1964, well, that brought many new faces to your screens. Let's see, who were there? There were Manfred Mann, Tom Jones, The Kinks, uh, The Pretty Things, The Yardbirds, and also we had quite a few new girl singers. Francois Hardy, Sandy Shaw, Lulu, Marianne Faithful. 1965. Well, we were still retaining an audience of some 16 million viewers every week. And uh, last year, the new faces on your screen were Paul and Barry Ryan, Unit 4 Plus 2, the Spencer Davis Group, the uh, Seekers, and of course, the Walker Brothers. Well, that brings us up right to 1966. And so far in 1966, we had one group on the show, and they went nearly to the top of the charts. They were called the Trogs, with their hit record, Wild Thing. Well, it looks as though maybe the Trogs are going to be the last unknown group we present on Lucky Stars, because tonight we've invited along well-established artists, and they're joining me, and we hope you're going to join us in saying goodbye, Lucky Stars. Shapiro, Gene Pitney, Miss Ruby Miller, Cleo Lane, The Ivy League, Herman's Hermits, Ray Ellington, Roy C, and The Beatles in Goodbye Lucky Star. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we're starting off the show with an artist who had his first record released in England, went right into number six position in the charts. It was called Shotgun Wedding. Very nice to welcome Roy C. and Jumping Pneumonia. <laughs>
Roy C. and the Joe Cook Dance. And now it's time to welcome back Peter and Gordon and their lady say side to show I love you. I will come to you each night and hold you tight Just to show I love you Then I'll call you every day Thank you, Peter and Gordon. <coughs> well, Peter, it looks as though it looks as though you've been in the sun. Your hair's gone a bit red. Where have you been these past few weeks? We've been in the Philippines for the last couple of weeks, which was really incredibly hot and sunny. It was great. Was it really? What were you doing down there then, Gordon? What sort of shows? Uh, just ordinary shows to <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> we did a couple of air bases as well. Great. Well, I tell you what, I'd like you to introduce, and I'd like you to meet, and I'd like the audience now to meet a compare who was on the show some time ago. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a very big welcome to Peter Murray. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, James. All the miracle of modern science there. Uh, the artist that I'm going to introduce you to now actually first appeared on the program in 1961. She was, in fact, then uh, just 14 years of age. She's now an old girl of 19. And we're going to play a track from her LP. And the title of the song is Shop Around, so let's meet Miss Helen Shapiro. When I became engaged, my mother called me to her side. She said, Darling, And then she said, just because you become a young girl now, I thought I'd let a bell put you in a world now. Before you give some boy your hand now, I'll keep your freedom for as long as you can now. My mama told me, you better shop around.
see Helen. Peter, um, when Helen appeared on the show the first time, uh, was she pretty nervous? I know she doesn't look nervous now, but what, was she in those days? I don't think she was nervous, no, but mm. the funny part was that, in fact, that uh, she appeared at rehearsal. She did her rehearsal and she went home because she thought she'd done the show. <laughs> so we had to uh, go off and bring her back and uh, she eventually did the show live. So Lovely, right. Well, we've not only got you here, we're not, not just Peter, but we've got someone else who uh, compared the show for some time. So let's have a very big welcome to, to Keith Fordyce. Right. Right. Yeah, okay. I tell you what, Keith, I thought perhaps you would like to introduce our next artist. So I've been flogging myself to death, so has Peter. All right, I've been delighted to. This is, uh, Let's watch it. It's Herman's Hermits, and uh, it's a couple of years ago when I first introduced Herman. I thought he's a little fellow, you know, like that. Oh, yeah. Talked to him a few minutes ago, I realised I was looking up to him. In fact, he's grown four inches in two years, and in stature too. Now, an international recording artist, it's Herman's Hermits with this door swings both ways. <laughs> It's a door that opens wide And no man can call himself complete Till he sees it from both sides This swings both ways It's not in and out Some days you want to cry Thank you. Unfortunately, our next artist forgot their shoes and are now singing in their socks. They told me not to mention it, so I won't. The song's called Willow Tree, and they are the Ivy League. Willow Tree, you're always weeping. May I come and talk to you? She has gone while I was sleeping. Now I feel like weeping too. Willow Tree, you're always weeping. Flowers royal in 
Well, there we are. That was the Ivy League. Um, how many would you give it, Peter? Well, I could argue it about three, I think. Three points, yes, three Peter. Points, yes. uh, Keith, how many would you give it? Strong four. Strong four. Strong four. And how many would you give it, Janice Nichols? I'll give it five. <laughs> uh, nice to have you here, Janice. Very nice indeed. And uh, since the show, which was how long ago? When did you start the show? Uh, when I was about 16, three. Now you're married. Three. Congratulations. Love it. Pete, let's have the next intro. I thought you'd never ask. We're now going to play a record, ladies and gentlemen, featuring uh, two people who have appeared on this program many times before as single artists, but they're here together with a duo, a song written by Johnny Dankworth for the film Modesty Blaze. It's a song called We Should Have, and here are Ray Ellington and Clear Lane. <laughs> At Covent Garden for Trovatore, we were shot at in the stores. They all believed it was in the stores. Yeah, and we took nine curtain calls. Eight would have been oh. enough. We've shared the thrill. Oh, yeah. We've even shared the kill. <laughs> but such a perfect pair should have much more to share, dear. And it's cheaper, too. <laughs> and that explosion outside Darjeeling Well, it was terrible. I heard it in Hyderabad. Yes, it was, it was something like I had to scrape you off the ceiling. And that's the closest scrape I've had. We've bombed and mined, but never in the swine. We were crazy, you know. And someone was clearly hoping that he'd make you marmalade. He nearly did. We've shared the fun. Uh, we've even shared a gun. But not the bullets. We go like hand in glove. Then why not try the love scene? Well, don't just stand there. The other summer in Arizona, I was sentenced to the chair. They didn't realize I knew the owner of the power station there. Right. We pulled our minds. Cheeky. But never pulled the blinds. We stayed your dear at you to meet someone who compared Thank You Lucky Stars longer than anyone else named Ryan Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much and thank you Jim. Well it's my pleasure to introduce on this last edition of the show an American international star who when he first appeared on Lucky Stars four years ago was scarcely known in Britain but now his every record is a hit, his latest is already in the charts and he is Gene Pitney. to make you see that I'd be what you want me to be but no matter what I do I just can't get through to you you don't want to love me or are you tired Can 
it be like before? Don't you need me anymore? Why do I go on this way? You don't hear a word I say. If you care about me. Well, on this very last Thank You Lucky Stars, we decided to present what, who probably is the oldest pop singer in the business. She's 78 years old. She's made records on uh, the old, new 45, the old 78, and even on the wax cylinders. I think you're going to like this song. Let's give a very big welcome to Ruby Miller. <laughs> journeys a thousand times or more and if your great concern is making two and two make four here's my advice if mathematics is your missing link to add up the danger stop and think I tripped the light fantastic when I didn't know the way I tripped and it was drastic But I learned So now I say The finish of the ice Is surely on the lover's rink Beware of that stranger Stop think Now maybe he thinks love's a game And plays it just by ear Now maybe you don't feel the same Then you must make your motives clear There's nothing quite so evil Than a man who's been around He causes such upheaval That the best thing I have found Is to forget him Never let him even talk but if he should do, stop and think. Remember music's full of charm and tends to make you weak. Remember when you're in his arms, he's bound to try some old technique. I've been around and plenty. And I live a life that's full. Now some like silks at 20, and some like virgin wool. So find out whether he's for leather or some other king to really stay with it. Stop and think. Stop and think. Have a little thing. Stop and think. That was lovely. You Stop enjoyed it, thing. Didn't you? Tell me, how long has it been since you made a record? Uh, well, the very first was in 1913 on Wax. Was it really? Yes, and then I sang You Made Me Love You. Great, right. Well, I know that there are one group of artists that you said you, you'd love to be on any bill with. Well, we've managed to achieve that. Have and you? Uh, we're going to present them now because these are the, the boys I mentioned earlier. They started the Mersey Sound. They made their yep. very first appearance on the show. I think it's only right they should end the show. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! <laughs>
thank you. That was Rain from the Beatles. Ruby, um, after seeing the Beatles, have you any aspirations yourself of forming your own sort of uh, pop group? Yes, I have indeed. I thought it would be wonderful if I could get Sybil Thorndike. She's a great pianist anyway. And Athena Sider on the drums. Let's see the ladies say side. Thank you, and uh, with the Beatles, that's about the end of the show for today. But I would like to thank all the artists here, not only them, but uh, all the other 2,996 and a half artists who have appeared on Thank You, Lucky Stars. So, from all of us, from all the audience, just let's say goodbye, Lucky Stars. Yeah.